Hi, my name is Dave Andrews. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about financial planning software. There's basically two real big uh, financial planning softwares out there. There's Quicken and then there's QuickBooks. Now Quicken uh, has different ranges. It has home uses, it has small business uses, it has enterprise uses, and uh, they're obviously based on different prices depending on what product that you buy. Uh, if you're just somebody at home, I would suggest that you buy the home version of Quicken, which is the, the cheapest version, as opposed to one of the premier versions. Because you can easily type in your transactions, you can schedule the bills that you're going to be paying, and it's just really good software to use uh, to plan your financial future. Now QuickBooks is another program that's available, and uh, it's geared more towards businesses as it allows you to handle uh, accounts payable and receivable, which would be invoices and payments. Um, and it basically allows you to create reports and invoices and things that businesses would be more geared towards. I'm gonna show you a little bit about Quicken here on my computer. Now Quicken is the uh, sort of the personal version for home use. And I have uh, Quicken uh, Home installed. This is the basic version uh, and I'm able to very easily select my uh, checking account. If I had a savings account, it would appear here. Any uh, debts or property that I have uh, will appear here. And I can add an account very easily by clicking on adding account and choosing um, what bank it is and, and what type of account it is like that. Now, if I click on one of my accounts, such as my checking account, I'm presented with a ledger right here where I can type in all the transactions that go into that account. Uh, like, let's say uh, I get paid by my employer again $100. I'm going to enter that transaction. And I now have another $100 from my employer deposited. And as you can see, my checking account now shows $150. Uh, you can do a lot of things with this uh, for planning purposes by using the scheduled bills and deposits where you can add a bill. Uh, let's say uh, we're going to call this water bill. And it's going to be a payment from our checking account for $40. You're going to choose when it occurs. Let's say it's due on the 30th. And we want to be reminded three days in advance. We just click OK. Uh, it's telling me I need a type. I'm just going to say no for right now. I've now added a scheduled deposit into my system, which should show up if I go back to my cash flow center. It'll show up as a scheduled bill or deposit here. The water bill, $40 uh, due on the 30th. So this is kind of how you can use this software to plan your future because uh, it's showing here on this calendar all the bills that are due and when they're due. My name is Dave Andrews and I've just talked to you a little bit about financial planning software.